You shot down my plane. Don't tell me that thing was a plane. You knew what it was. That junk, you mean? Oh, so you want to make something of it, huh? fellows want to fight why don't you why don't you choose sides and not all pick on one huh? my 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 you don't know enough to quit do you even when the odds are against you but they shot down my plane and I worked on it more than a year oh, well 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 I don't know much about airplanes these days, but this looks like you had something. Nobody told us this goof thinks he's a genius. Goof? Well, you could have taken time to find out before you jumped to the conclusion that he was a goof. Did you fellas ever stop to think that all the things we have in this world today started with some uh, goofs, uh, dopey dreams? I remember what people used to say about Edison and Bell. Y you've heard of them, I hope. <laughs> Yeah, and Marconi and Johnny Montgomery. Of course, nobody was hep enough then to know what goof meant, you know, so they just called him crazy. <laughs> but I guess most people thought that Johnny Montgomery was the goofiest of them all. <laughs> About uh, 60 years ago, it, was it six? No, it, uh, it was 63, 63 years ago, Johnny thought he could build an airplane that would fly. Oh, what are you giving us, Pop? I never heard of him. I have. San Diego just put up a monument for him, right over the hill there. Yeah, that's right. I'm on my way up there now. If you fellas want to join me, it's uh, Jake with me. You're sure half Pop, for an old drip. Well, I'll get around. You say this guy Montgomery tried to build a plane 63 years ago, huh? Yep, that's right. Well, and how come it took San Diego so long to put up a monument for him? Well, sometimes it takes people a long time to get there. You tell him, Pop. <laughs> <laughs> I've read a lot of books about flying, sir, but I couldn't find much about John Montgomery. Well, Johnny couldn't find much in books about flying either. You see, the science of flight was as unknown and mysterious then as uh, atomic energy is today. Uh, give me a push up here. He started by studying the birds on the beach at San Francisco. And there was a little girl. There always is. Regina Cleary was her name. And she never lost faith in his dream of flying. She was much younger than Johnny, and he treated her like a little kid sister. But she believed in him and loved him practically all her life. Slide down that. B 32 outer wing panel. Stainless steel. It really is something. If, uh, if you were men, 
still think that a fellow who tries something new today is nutty, you can imagine what they called Johnny Montgomery then, hmm? <laughs> But that didn't bother him at all. He was a boy with a single-track mind, which led in only one direction, up there. No panty waste. Had plenty of what it takes, huh? You said it. Professor Montgomery learned to fly by watching the birds, didn't he, sir? Yes, that's right. He would weigh the bodies and then measure the wing spread of every bird he could get hold of. But after he graduated from St. Ignatius in San Francisco, Johnny's folks moved down here uh, to a little uh, ranch over in the valley there. And then he began experimenting with live birds. The one from which he learned the most about flying was a young eagle, an American eagle. Hello, Jenny. Say, you sure have grown. So have you. Regina, my, you've grown up. <laughs> Say, I feel very grown up traveling all the way from San Francisco by myself. But she got seasick. On the boat coming down. And she was white as a sheet when we met her at the dock. Well, you see, it was um, a small boat, but I feel fine now. Terrible service for a thriving town like San Diego. We need a direct railroad, and we'll probably always need one. Well, maybe you can do something about it when you get your job in Washington, Zachary. If we can just nominate Grover Cleveland. Where's John? Oh, he's around somewhere. Oh, so that's where he is. John, did you fix the cultivator? Uh, I'll do it right now, Dad. Hiya, Jenny. Hi, Johnny. No, oh, that boy, all he ever thinks about is that flying machine. All the neighbors are talking about they him. They say they think he's a little touch. Well, they don't say a little anymore. They say it's complete. Complete. Hey, bring your finger down here a minute, will you? Hold it steady. That's it. The little girls like you shouldn't be nervous. Oh, I'm just excited. Helping to build a flying machine. Yeah, you know, I kind of feel that way myself sometimes when I think of flying this. see a bird with a flat wing? Did you ever see a bird with a flat wing? A bird with a flat wing? Wing. Wing? No. Uh, well, nobody else ever did either. That's why nobody's been able to fly. They didn't figure out why their wings were curved. All right, you can let go now. You can let go. Oh, well, why didn't you say you had it in there? I didn't know. You didn't know? No. Oh, Jenny, you're just a cuckoo. Thank you, John. The neighbors are starting to talk. Again, just today. They say John's building a crazy flying machine and 
He's just as crazy. I've heard some of it. You have, Mother? Why didn't you tell me? I didn't think it was anything to worry about. Well, it, it isn't out here in the country, but it might spread into town. Get in the paper. It wouldn't make any difference if I wasn't in politics. Supporting the government Cleveland for the other interests. Anybody who tries anything new is always called crazy. Bell showed him. Four years ago he could talk over a wire, but people still say he's crazy. Nobody will use his telephone. Thinking you can fly. My opponents never get hold of that. Might even get back to Washington, to Mr. Cleveland. It'd be hard to explain that to even a progressive Democrat. Son who thinks he can fly? Hey, Johnny. Do you think a girl could fly? Anybody can someday. If they have the right machine. Well, anybody but me, son. I've had enough trouble just trying to keep both feet on the ground. Well, I uh, guess I'd better go and <clears throat> fix that fence. Oh, no hurry. There's an old saying, first things first. But I guess it's all a point of view, which is first. I heard about a boy the other day who could repeat the Lord's Prayer backwards. Hmm, it's getting to be quite a machine, isn't it? Well, you, your idea of using spruce here instead of hickory, right in the wings, it, it's fine. Shape's a lot easier when it's steamed, too. Did I suggest that? Well, I hope the neighbors don't find that out, too. Your mother and I were talking about it last night, and, well, we decided that maybe Oh, why worry about crossing a bridge until you get to it? You go right on with what you want to do. If you need any help, you know who to come to. Maybe I'll have another idea, like using spruce instead of hickory. We'll be a couple of crackpots together, son. Thanks a lot for helping, Junie. Well, I guess we better put this thing to bed. You mean you're not going to fly it? Nope. Not for a while. You see, I know what Dad was trying to tell me. Well, Mother always told me when people said I was wrong, and I knew I was right, to go ahead and show them I was. Well, that's all right for a kid. Chicken say pee pee. Shh. Juan, do you know the way up to the mesa? Hurry up, Juan. Be 
patient, please. One more button. But hey, Don't wait too long before you turn loose of this. Remember, this aeroplane can't lift the both of us. Aeroplane? When'd you think of that word? Oh, right now, I guess. I Got to have a name for it. Here, you'll spank us good. It is a very strange thing. Crazy ones now, Johnny, are the ones that said you were crazy. Oh, it wasn't so good, this swing here. How high do you think it was? 20 feet? Maybe 30. But you flew, Johnny. Nobody else ever did that. Gotta go higher. Much higher. It must be beautiful way up there. Come on, Jim, let's try it again, huh? Ready? Well, I fed the horses tonight. And the cows, and the chickens, and the rabbits. And the ducks. Well, Mother, looks as if the boys were tired of your cooking. Oh, and it's their favorite supper. Chicken stew. And dumplings and mashed potatoes. And there's an apple pie in the oven, too. Well, it's not their favorite tonight. Always back for a second helping long before this. Well, can't a fella just not be hungry or too tired or... Tired? Since when have I ever seen you boys too tired to eat like a horse? Horse. Johnny flew today.
Johnny what today? Johnny flew. I saw him. He flew just like a bird. Johnny flew? You saw him? Like a bird? Oh, it was the most beautiful thing I ever saw. It is the truth. I, Juan Morales, saw it also. Just like the bird, Senor Johnny fly. And I, Juan Morales, do not tell the lie. For then I must go to confession. But when I tell the Padre, I shall have to do the penance, I know. For the Padre, he will not believe what I tell him, what I saw with my own eyes. The Padre will say that it is impossible, that such a thing could happen. And I will have to say many Hail Marys and our fathers. I just couldn't stand people calling you crazy. Now what are you going to do with it? Well, I don't know exactly, except maybe make it go higher. Why? Get up there in the clouds, see what they're really like. I see. Well, if you want my advice, you'll forget this thing now and go to work at something a little more practical. You're growing up. You've got to think of the future. Yes, sir. Wouldn't you say he flew that plane? I didn't say, but it uh, tells right here. John Gay. Top in August 1883. Gosh, this ain't phony. What do you know? Yeah, but why didn't the guy use a gas engine in his plane? You dope. They didn't have gas engines in 1883. Or did they, sir? Uh, no. No, oh, it was in 1885 that a man by the name of Daimler put the first gas engine in a three-wheel tricycle. Johnny Montgomery flew two years before. Those dopes in San Diego, why'd they stall so long in putting guys hep to this? Well, now, it wasn't their fault. You see, a lot of things went haywire with Johnny, and he sort of got lost in the shuffle. My old man's always saying that about himself. Er, give me a lift up here, will you? Yeah, no, 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 stay where you are. Just give me a boost. Come huh? on, oh, all right, one, two. <laughs> Thanks, man. Well, to continue. A little while after Johnny proved that his airplane would fly, right here from where we're sitting, President Grover Cleveland gave Johnny's father a job as Assistant Attorney General of the United States. And the whole family, excepting Johnny, moved to Washington to live. He stopped flying for a while. He quit? Oh, no, no, no. He didn't quit. No, not he. You see, some of the kids that he'd gone to school with up at St. Ignatius had now grown up and had become priests at Santa Clara College. And when that little girl, Regina, told them of Johnny's uh, tough luck about money and all, you know, they all got their heads together. Johnny! Oh, I'm glad to see you. <laughs> oh, you look just like your old self, John. Uh, so do you, Dickie. Yeah. All of you. Now, don't be starting that the minute you get here. <laughs> the good Lord's fat me up for something that's nobody's business but his. Come on in and meet Father Kenton. He's vice president now, but before long, he'll be running the whole joint. Father Kenton, here's our flying pal at last. And for waiting around to welcome him, I just got insulted. How are you, John? Like the old days, having you back. Thanks, Father. I don't know why you went to the trouble of fixing up this job for me here. Oh, job it is. Besides helping teach the kids, all you do for your $20 a month and board is just ride Santa Clara up there in the skies with indelible ink. We have a surprise for you. Jimmy, go on, go on, on with it. 
Johnny. You've grown up so I'd, I'd hardly know you. Isn't that what all little girls do? Grow up? Say, you have too, Johnny. But not so pretty. So this is how you know about my flight to San Diego. Uh, you know, I should have spanked you for sneaking out and watching that first flight at Ote Mesa. I'll remind you to someday. Well, for heaven's sakes, let's get out of here quickly before he changes his mind and does it now. Feminine screams in here would be very hard to explain. I'll admit it doesn't look much like a busy shop now, John. But we'll get the tools and things you need. We Jesuits have a way. What's my job on this team? To show people how to fly. That should be a man-sized job. Center of gravity seems all right. Same wing curve, isn't it, as the one you flew in San Diego? Uh, except this second wing here. That ought to make it more stable, more maneuverable. Hey, Johnny! Don't tell me this thing flies! Huh? No, I use that to wash gold out of sand. To wash what out of what? Gold out of sand? Oh, gold out of sand. Uh, wait a minute, I'll show you how it works. That's a gold separator I invented. 